Virtual images are the ones you're used to seeing every day in the mirror. Your mirror image appears to emanate from behind the glass. If you try to touch your image, the glass surface gets in the way. You cannot reach through the glass surface to reach your image. These fish are swimming down the street in Kuala Lumpur. The reflection from the surface of the water shows what the appearance of the fish would be if viewed from above. This is Petronas Towers. Here's a view from the ledge. This is a reflection of the towers on the surface of a nearby building. This is the view at night. And it's mirror image. Notice the horizontal lines in the towers. We can see them in the reflecting pool. When the water is a little bit rough, those horizontal lines oscillate like this. This is Anger Wat in Cambodia. While a virtual image appears to emanate from behind the glass, you can actually touch a real image and focus it onto a piece of paper. In the 13th century, art in Europe looked like this. A few centuries later, Renaissance artists had learned many ways to make realistic art. This is Rembrandt's Night Watch from the year 1640. This is a mirror from a telescope. This mirror has a 4 foot focal length. So if we place the mirror 4 feet from the window, it will focus an image of what's outside onto the paper. This is a real image. The image doesn't appear to emanate from behind the paper. Instead, the image actually lands on the paper. You could trace the image of the outdoors that's focused onto this paper. This is one way that early Renaissance painters in Europe found that they could make more realistic art. As lenses and mirrors made their way from the Islamic equator into Europe, the lenses and mirrors provided another way to make art more realistic. Here is another example of a real image. The mirror has a spherical shape. We place the creature on top of the mirror and then another spherical mirror on top of that. When you look through the opening at just the right angle, you see the entire creature floating in mid-air. The rays of light actually pass right through this apparent location of the creature. You swear you could touch the creature.
this is a real image rather than the image appearing to emanate from behind the glass. This real image seems to be floating in mid-air. If you make a large enough pair of mirrors, you could have a real image of a person who seems to be floating in mid-air.